In this video, Digital to Analog Converter MCP4725 is programmed in assembly to convert 12-bit digital data into analog signals. The DAC module contains IC MCP4725, which is a single-channel 12-bit digital to analog converter. It has an onboard EEPROM which holds data during power of time. We can operate the chip in normal or power down mode. It is connected to a microcontroller using I2C and we can connect up to eight of these devices and we can operate this in variable clock speeds from 100 kilobits per second to maximum 3.4 megabits per second. A block diagram of the MCP4725 IC is shown here. The two main components are the DAC register and the EEPROM. The DAC register is a 19-bit register that stores the 12-bit data to be converted to analog and configuration bits made of command bits which determine whether we are accessing the DAC register or we are accessing the DAC register and the EEPROM. And we also have the power down bits which determine whether the uh, IC is in normal operational mode where the output, V output, is the analog version of the 12 bit data or the IC is in power down mode where V output is zero. The EEPROM is a 14 bit non volatile register that stores the 12 bit input data and the power down select bits. This feature of the EEPROM enables the device to hold the data during power of time and when power resumes the output is made available immediately. To write to the DAC device we use I2C protocol. So the transmission begins with the start bit and then we have some bytes and then we end it with a stop bit. The first byte we send after the start bit is the device addressing. These four bits are the device code and they are fixed at this value. Bits A0, A1 and A2 on the module are grounded. And the least significant bit is the write bit. So the device addressing here is C0 hexadecimal. The second byte we send is a command byte, which contains the configuration bits. Namely, we have the control bits C0, C1, and C2 that determine whether we are writing to the DAC register or we are writing to the DAC register and the EEPROM. In this video, we'll be writing only to the DAC register, so the value would be 0, 1, 0. And these two bits here determine whether we are in power down mode or in normal mode. Here we'll be doing normal mode so the value is 0, 0. Next we send the third byte and the fourth byte that will contain the 12-bit digital data to be converted from D0 to D11. These bits here are logic don't care. At the transmission of each byte the device will respond with an acknowledgement pulse. This is a truth table for the power down bits. A value of 0, 0 means we are in normal mode and the output of the DAC is available. The switch is closed and these switches are open and V out is the analog version of the 12 bit digital input. When the bits are 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1 then the device is in power down mode and this switch will be open and one of these switches will be closed and V out will be grounded and will be zero. And now let's have a look at the assembly code used to perform a DAC write. We begin by sending the start signal and then we send the first byte which is the device addressing and the device address is hexadecimal C0. Then we send the second byte which is the control byte containing the configuration bits the control bits are 0, 1, 0, meaning that we are writing to the DAC register only. 
and the power down bits are 0, 0, meaning that the power down mode is off and we are in the normal mode. Next we send the third byte which is the uh, bits D4 to D11 of the 12-bit data and then we send the remainder of the bits from D0 to D3 and then we end the transmission by sending the stop pulse. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The MCP4725 module is interfaced with the Arduino using I2C connection. The analog output is connected to an LED and connected to a scope. The Arduino is programmed using assembly so that the output of the module gives us two different types of waveforms, namely a triangular waveform and a sinusoid. To sketch a sinusoid on the scope, within the assembly code we store 256 bytes in flash memory. And through pointer Z, we grab each byte, send it to the DAC, and the analog converted value is displayed on the scope. We repeat this 256 times. This is the assembly code used to generate the sinusoid on the scope. We assign uh, register R19 as a counter to keep track of the 256 bytes stored in flash memory. We assign uh, pointer Z to point to location sine wave which contains the 256 bytes. We begin by sending the start uh, condition and then we send the first byte which is the device address and then we send the second byte which is the command byte. Through pointer Z we get the first byte from flash memory and use it as the third byte and send it to the uh, DAC. And then we send the fourth byte and here for the fourth byte uh, we are sending zero. It means that uh, we are ignoring the four least significant bits and we are just focusing on the eight significant uh, bits. And then we send the stop condition and then we decrement the counter R19 and we loop back and continue with the process to get the next byte and continue getting all of the bytes stored in memory. And then the whole process is repeated and we have a continuous generation of the sinusoid on the scope. In future videos, more I2C devices will be programmed using assembly, such as the ADS1115 4-channel analog to digital converter. Thank you for watching.